And he'll get it inside the 35. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. This one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And the Jags are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Troy Anderson in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Throwing on second and long. Hurts got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. As a passer, you're always trying to find an open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. He's going up top for Taylor. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Off the play fake. Strong. And this goes out wide for Drake. Touchdown! Kenyon Drake! His first touchdown here in the new campaign. And the Chargers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route and worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? But a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look, and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Daxton Hill picks it off, and the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first-round impact in a lot of these day three corners. They end up winding up on special teams and sub packages, and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Second down, it's Walker. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. On first and 10. Strong. Throw left side complete. That's Walker. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A good pick up there, 22. Here's Walker, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Kenneth Walker, his 
his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chargers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now 14-0. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. For this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Hurts. Got a man complete. It's Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and 10, Taylor now. And some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Touchdown, Jaguars! Keenan Allen, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Jaguars have got it back to within a score. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Makes the score. Chargers 14. Jaguars 7. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complete. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, we saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they have this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed him big time, and that was also a big time throw. To throw on second down. Strong. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. 
The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He didn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Myers kick is good and they will move up by 10 now 17 to 7 so that one on target and it adds to this first half lead and maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead two score lead etc but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on now. Converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18 and able to get this out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty wrapped up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Throwing his Hurts. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. And the Chargers are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, when I looked out, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Here's Walker to start the drive. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Strong. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10.
And the tight end goes in motion left. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Back to throw. Strong. And this will be caught. It's Johnson for the Charger touchdown. Tyler Johnson as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guy. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reach the He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And the Chargers first down. On first down, strong. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okurebunov. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Throwing on first down. Strong. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. DJ Chark, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead is now 24. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Well, 
This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. He'll look to throw. Fighting Hilton on the slant. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He goes right back the way of Hilton. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. the play fake. Here's Hurts. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Jalen Arnold Davis. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw a second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. On first and ten. Strong. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. He's going to air one out. And that is incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead. But these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. And Sharp calls it in. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. A line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Straight ahead, Walker. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Under pressure now gonna go down sack back around the eight a nightmare on third and goal he sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him third and goal they decided to throw for but how about the play defensively couldn't find anyone open left him nowhere to go with the football had to absorb the sack on fourth down strong and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now back to throw. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. But first down, Hurts. 
Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already, and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's his second and ten. Back to throw again. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They're going to look to throw. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 15-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to throw here. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Here's second and one now from the seven. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And it's caught. And the Jags are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five yard line. On second and goal. Hurts escaping the pressure right. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Jaguars go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And this is going to be intercepted. It's interesting that when it comes to two point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one is intercepted. And they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. No return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Charger drive about to get going. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Throwing to start the drive. Strong. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Looking to throw. Strong. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. That's caught at the 25. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Touchdown, Chargers! DJ Chark, the second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown to them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football, he's in cruise control right now, and so is his team.
And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Play action. Here's Hurts. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And my goodness, another interception. Daxton Hill picks it off. And a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe, touchdown! Albert O, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Extra point up and through by Myers. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This that uses motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here's Hurts to throw. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Hurts throw into the hands of Kirk. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 45-yard line. They go play action with Hurts. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this one is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. This is caught. It's Kirk. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A first down there on a pickup of 25. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On second down, it's Taylor. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Throwing his hurts. He's got it to Hilton. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he stopped immediately there. So this one's over against him. A defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> as this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. So for the Chargers, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. Yes. 